Now we all know it's great gallivanting around the countryside, doing all of our camping, our driving, towing our vans, fantastic, but it does gobble up the kilometres. And because of it, we need to service the car. Usually servicing a car like this between five and every five and 10,000 kilometres. Let's get on with it. I'll show you how to change the oil, change the oil filter. Let's go. Here's what you'll need. Plastic tarp, tools, the oil, some more tools, and your oil filter. And when you're finished with it, put, pour all the oil back into the uh, oil container, like I've done here. Then take it to your local uh, tip. Usually they have a recycling area where you can drop your your oil and you can also drop your oil filter. If not, look up Planet, Planet's Arc and they'll give you your local area. Happy motoring. Here I am just about to do an oil change on the car. Uh, I don't have the luxury of calling in and paying three to four hundred dollars to do an oil change so uh, I'm going to do it myself. <laughs> Things falling from the sky. Now, first thing you do need to do is lay down a, a um, plastic, lay down something like this, so you don't get oil anywhere else. Let's do that first. Secure, secure. secure. Next, we need a jack, a decent jack. Jack. <laughs> Chop the wheels. Okay, I've jacked up the second side and put the jack on the car jack underneath it, car stand. So I've now got two car stands on both sides of the car. I made certain that that uh, retaining like bolt thing goes through and is completely supported by for the weight on both sides and even though I've lowered the jack I've actually left the jack in situ to give me extra protection now I can climb under and undo the there's a covering on my particular car there's a covering um, piece of metal I need to undo that next a wee bit hard to see but there's the so there's the uh, covering bolt, covering plate that runs along there, along there, along there. You need to undo that to get access to the undoing the bolt into the sump. <laughs> I'm now going upstairs under the bonnet of the car to remove the oil filter. The, all the oil is now drained out of the sump and now I will slowly take the oil filter off so as not to drop oil all out using the oil filter. Oh, there's the oil filter. Now I've already used this special tool, this guy, to loosen it. Hopefully when I hand release it, it's not going to spew oil everywhere. Fingers crossed. There's my new one. Uh, not advertising that company, but 
I always tend to use the originals on these. You can get copies, but I don't know why, I just choose not to use the copies. Now it's a good idea when this is brand new, take off the plastic, not take off this glove in this hand. Take off the plastic. <laughs> mm. There we go, take off the plastic and put that somewhere properly. And you, what you should do is you should rub oil, make a little seal on this before you put it back onto the, before you put it back on. <laughs> Here's another little trick I do. I uh, get some gaffer tape or something similar. I put it over the base of it here. I then put the kilometers and the date I installed it. That way at any point in time I think, oh well, it's probably time to service the car because this should be serviced every 5,000 kilometers, 10,000 max. I can just look at the date, check the kilometers against the uh, kilometers under the book in the uh, dash and then I'll know. Next stage is extremely critical and you're not going to believe it, but some people have forgotten to do this. We've done all that, I've now put on the new oil filter. No oil was dripped by the way by doing it the way I did it. And the way I did it was take out the sump bolt, drain all the oil out of it, then loosen the oil filter, leave it loosened for a little bit, or as much as loosened, and then finally take it off. No oil dropped. I've now put the new oil filter on and I went round the rim of the new oil filter before I put it on with nice new fresh oil to give it a seal. This is the critical thing. Make certain you put the sump plug bolt back in right now before you start pouring the oil in. Here's another little hint. What I should have done, it's not overly critical, it didn't really matter this, much, this time, but when you take off the um, oil cap, When you take it off, sometimes it can be on really, really tight there. So all you need to do is just get like a pair of pliers or a, just even a simple spanner. Just use it as a lever, release it. <clears throat> the other thing is a great idea. Have this off and have it in a really safe place. I usually put it over near the battery. Have it in a safe place because once you've filled up the oil, if you can't find that cap, you're in a lot of trouble. Oil will probably go everywhere. You can either buy this dedicated um, funnel, or I couldn't find one the other day, so I actually made one up out of um, a soft drink container. And when I store it, I just put the, literally put the cap back on. Not sure which one's going to be the best one today. I'll try the one that's meant to be for it. And also look at your manual before you do the the oil change because my particular car takes six litres so if you've got five litres then you're short day one it's okay to drive it because it's probably going to be enough to oil in there but then you don't want to say oh eventually I can't find the particular one so I'll just throw any old oil in I've gone to a lot of trouble to get what I deem to be a pretty good oil And if you spill oil, it's probably going to go on the exhaust manifold and it'll probably maybe blow a little smoke under the bonnet and probably smell oh, like I just did. <laughs> you idiot fool. Concentrate. It'll smell for a while, it'll burn oil, uh, nothing major, it's just a bit annoying. You can wipe it up by the way. So I think I've probably got four litres in there now. That's probably five litres. Now I know it takes six litres. There's about a litre or a litre and a half left in. What I tend to do is I uh, have a little rag, a bit late for me, under here and just stick it under there, stick it out the road. So it's just dripping oil onto that little rag. Check the dipstick. <laughs> dipstick here at the moment is me spilling that oil nice clean tissue or something it's part of your budget get a whole roll of this stuff and I've just ran out 
wipe it nice and clean. Check there's no oil on it, all dry. Pop it back into the dipstick area. It does take a little while for the oil to settle as well. Not even showing yet, so I'll keep pouring the oil in. Bit of concentration this time, be good pouring. Do you know what? I'm having a sneaking suspicion it might take seven or eight litres. What a nung bum I would be to get that wrong. Anyway, I have suspicion my entire car takes seven or eight. No, it's okay. Maybe it takes seven. Because there's definitely enough in there, and it says it's half, three quarters full. That's okay, I can live with that. And it just so happens that I do have some spare oil, exactly the same as this, that I can top it up. If you're going to go to the trouble of putting expensive oil in, don't put that and then say, oh, I'll just put any old oil in because you're kind of defeating the purpose. Put the oil cap on in case I forget. And that's an oil change and oil filter change. Hope that helps. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. If you press the little ding button, that will notify you every time I put up a new video. And until next time, this is Paul Wheel Drive. It's blowing, it's such a gale.